Hey everyone, Quant2511 just did something that should be impossible for a 2D AI model. Most models just guess pixels only. But this thing builds a mental 3D map of a house from a single picture. But when this dropped, everyone on Reddit immediately started complaining. They said it looks like plastic, it's fake, details are fake, everything. And actually, they're 100% right. Every model comes with some problems. Definitely, that's true. But we finally fixed that Vexi skin with just a single node. So I am uploading this photo in the workflow, a guy in a deer mascot suit next to a man. And I want to turn the man on the right into a realistic woman. And here I want a natural, realistic image. And for that, I just write this prompt. Since this model understands texture very well, I just write, change the man on the right to a realistic woman. Ensure her skin has natural pores, fine details and realistic texture that matches the lighting of the scene. So this model understands texture very well now. So no need for any extra LoRa for that. And I just hit run. Now we have got the result and look at that. It didn't just paste a woman's face onto a man's body. It re-rendered the entire structure perfectly. But here is the killer detail. That fixes the biggest problem about this model. You can zoom in on her face. Look at the skin. It does not look plastic. It's not waxy. It has pores and natural imperfections. I'll show you how to fix this later. And one more thing, we are not done yet. Check this out. In the same image, I just gave another prompt. I said to replace the deer mascot with a monkey mascot. And the monkey mascot must have the exact same fur on its head. And now you can see the result. The mascot changed to the monkey, but look closely at the texture. The fur is mostly identical to the original deer. It's not 100%, but it tried to match the fur with our original image. Because the deer fur and monkey fur are a little bit different. So this completely proves that this model handles realistic human skin and specific artificial texture in the same workflow. So here one important question arises, why has the plastic problem come up? And the answer is, it happened because of pixel drift. The AI tries to help you by smoothing out the noise. So we need to tell it to stop that. And in my workflow, when you go to this node, it usually defaults to offset. Just change it to the index time step zero. Now you must be thinking, what does this do? This forces the AI to anchor the generation to the original pixel at the very first step. It keeps the pores, the wrinkles and the real textures. So this one click is the difference between Vexi skin and a real human. So just one change fixes that problem. Now let's talk about the files you need to run this model. So here you have three choices for the main model. One is BF16. One is BF16. This is the uncompressed version. If you have a high-end PC with more than 16 GB of VRAM, you can use this model. And if you have, there is another model named FP8. It's a compressed version of BF16. It's way faster and takes less memory and the result is mostly identical. Now there is another model which you can use. You can use the Q5KM GGUF. And if you have a low VRAM card, like 8GB and FP8 is not working, you can use this model. It's highly optimized for low VRAM or CPU. Now you can see the text encoder and VAE are the same files used in our previous Quen workflow. 
So you do not need to change that file. There is also a Lightning LoRa available. You can use BF16 or FP8 LoRa's. I'll cut your steps from 20 down to 4 and you have to only use only CFG1. So what I know is that Quen is sensitive. Like if you upload a 4K image, it literally gets confused and ruins your background. So I just added another node called Megapixel to stop that. Here I just type 1.6 in the box and instantly it resizes your input, your reference and your pose image to match perfectly. So no more zooming bugs and no more math. And if you are on a low VRAM GPU, you can go with 0.8 and for this model, you can go up to 1.9 or 2. I just set up the best value at 1.6. Now I'll show you one more example why this model is best and in this example I am using two images. I am just uploading this vacuum sketch and in a, another image I upload a texture, a wooden oak texture. You don't need to write a detailed prompt. I just say apply the wood texture from image 2 to the vacuum in image 1. Now when you hit run in just four steps it applied the same texture which we uploaded in the second image on the vacuum and it rendered it like a professional 3D model. Now you can do this in 2511 model with no need for an extra LoRa. Now I'll show you another best part of this model. Look at this house. It's all glass and complex. So I just said to the model generate a rare three-quarter view of this house and now I just said to rotate this to 3D. As a result, look at the house. Look at the result. It hallucinated the back of the building and figured out how the wood siding wraps around and cat the warm interior glow. This is actually very helpful for 3D designers. So basically, it built a mental 3D model of this house just by looking at one picture. This is completely insane. And finally, now if you have any character, you have to say for this character, I need a 3 fourth view for this pose. And you can see, it built a 3D volume of character from a flat 2D sheet. This is insane. Or you can also take any drawing like I just used this character and convert this 2D image into high quality 3D. I just gave him a prompt. Generate this 2D image into a high quality 3D render. Unreal Engine 5 style. And look at the result. That trim lighting texture, it looks like a high quality ZBrush sculpt. So moving on, what you can also do is draw a blue access center line. I used the same character and said draw an auxiliary construction line to show the perspective. So it drew the perspective line, center line and bounding boxes for you. So this model has improved quite a lot. So before we go, for lighting work we needed an extra LoRa in our previous model if you remember that. But for this model, you do not need to use an extra LoRa for any lighting. Like I have seen, I just have to say, if I want to change the lighting, I simply said, change the lighting to the sunset. So the orange rim light and long shadow are perfectly added. Like I have an image here, an alien fighting scene. But, but I want this scene in night, so I just changed the lighting to the night scene. Now it just changed the scene lighting to the night and it looks insane and natural. Now in our previous model, if you try 2509, there was a problem when there were two characters because that 2509 is not trained for two people. But 2511 is trained for two people. So I just load the face of person 1 
and I just load the face of person 2 and simply give the prompt create a high quality photo merging with the women from image 1 and the women from image 2 keeps the facial features identical they are walking in the snowy park image 1 in a navy coat and image 2 in a beige sweater and here is the result look at the lighting on the shoulders Gwen didn't just cut and paste them it really them for snow no image drift they look like two distinct characters not the same the face is exactly the same as the image we uploaded so these are all the new updates in Quine 2511 and it's just a beast when you stop the plastic drift i have linked this workflow and the old version below so grab that and try it yourself so that's all for today's video if you like this one please subscribe to our channels for more videos like this